Hey what's up guys this is Akshay from AS Learning and today in this video we will be seeing how to transfer variables from one notebook to another okay so let's create two notebooks okay so whenever you create a notebook each of the notebook has a dedicated kernel okay so here we can see that in the running you can see the two kernels being run okay so the problem here is that how to access the variables in one notebook into the another notebook okay generally what happens is whenever uh, it is it's a practice that whenever someone is building pipelines so we have a dedicated pipeline for every small activity in machine learning development life cycle let's say whether it is data set creation data set pre processing feature extraction uh, eda model building and metrics okay so each of these has variables and at that time we we face this challenge of accessing that variable into the another pipeline okay so how to solve this and how to how to fix it okay so for that let's create a variable here okay i'll be creating a variable name akshay ugle okay so let me print it so i'll be accessing this variable here okay akshay ugle so am i able to access this variable in this another notebook no it is telling me name is not defined so what to do okay so how to transfer this vari uh, this variable name into the another notebook so for this we, uh, we will be taking the help of magic command okay so here we will be using store magic command so we will be storing the variable which we want to be accessed into another notebook so we will be storing it into the current ongoing session of jupyter notebook so here i stored my variable stored name so it, it is giving me a message stored variable name which is of type string now i want to retrieve that variable here so let's try to print it it is not printing so what's the issue we have stored the variable so why is it not printing it is not printing because you need to retrieve that variable in this notebook again so how to retrieve that variable for retrieving that variable you will be using the store command only but we will be adding an extra flag of minus r in front of it in this way we will be retrieving the variable now here i have retrieved the variable and now here i can access that variable in my another notebook okay so let's say uh, now we have seen that how to how to store one variable and access it into another notebook let's say i have more than one variable okay i have one variable name and then i have another variable let's say designation and uh, designation is data scientist okay so now what to do okay can i access this uh, designation variable here let's see if i can we cannot access the designation variable so for that what we will have to do is we will have to store it and then retrieve it again so here i i will be showing you storing multiple variables at the same time so here i have been here i have stored name and designation both of them okay and hence i will be able to access my designation oh i have not it's not printing why because you have not retrieved that variable here so here i'll be retrieving both those variables and now here i can access that variable here now uh, now we have seen how to access one variable and multiple uh, uh, variables from one notebook to another now uh, is this uh, technique independent of the uh, uh, folder location of the notebook yes it is entirely independent of the folder location of the notebook so here uh, you can see that i have these two uh, notebooks inside my documents folder of my mac okay now what i'll do is i'll be creating an, another notebook with, uh, uh, which is inside this folder of isak t fast api okay so here i have already created one notebook okay so let me create a fresh one for you okay now can i access the, those variables here definitely no why because we have not retrieved them right 
but let's say we retrieve them so will we be able to access it the answer is yes we will be able to access it here i am retrieving those variables and here i am printing it so we saw how we can access single and multiple variables from one notebook to another whether they are into the single folder or with uh, whether they are present into multiple folders if you find anything uh, helpful in this video please like this video and uh, share it with your friends it it really motivates uh, the number of likes and the number of count of subscribers is a thing which uh, which we youtubers thrive on <laughs> okay so uh, if you find anything helpful uh, do give it a like share it with your friends if you, if you want to be part of the whatsapp community i have shared the uh, link in the uh, uh, description it's it's a community of around 230 to 40 uh, ai guys in the industry okay and uh, do check other videos also okay and stay tuned to us for more such amazing tech stuff take care peace out